So now that we have the project set up, let's go through a couple of uh, the items in this class and then we'll um, do a couple of the methods. So our maze is really just a two dimensional array. The width and height are set and there is a, a character for a wall and a character for a space. All of the walls uh, are hashtags and you can kind of see that the maze is going to start here because that's the only opening that there is in this entire wall. And if you follow the spaces around, those are the paths of the maze. You can see we came into a dead end there. Uh, so it's just character maze 2D ray. There's a start row and a start column, an end row and an end column variable, which correlate with this position in the maze and this position in the maze. Then we have a couple of methods. We have to, uh, one to determine if a position is empty, one to print the maze. Here is our recursive method to solve the maze. And then we have a little helper to call the recursive function. So right now we're going to do the print maze and then the is empty. And then in the next video, we'll actually go in and solve it. So to print the maze, that's going to be a pretty simple, straightforward um, here I've got int r equals zero, r is less than the height of my maze, r plus plus. So this is just going through iterating through the 2D array, and that's why I have a for loop inside of a for loop. For int c equals zero, c is less than the width of my 2D array, c plus plus. And in there, all I have to do is print out that particular uh, position. There it is. And then after each row, I want to do an end line. There we go. So there's my print maze. It's just going through printing out every single value in the 2D array. Okay, is empty I'm going to use when I solve the problem. I just need to determine not only if the if it's a space, but I also have to determine if there is if it's within the bounds of the matrix of the 2D array. So I'm going to do an if statement for that. If r is greater than or equal to zero, I also need if c is greater than or equal to zero. And then I'm going to change the check the the upper bound too. So if r is less than rows would be the height and c is less than the width. Okay, if that's true, then I'm going to determine if there's a space. So if maze of that particular row and of that particular column equals, and I have a constant for my space which is just s that way i could change it out if i need to return true anything else is not within the bounds of my 2d array so i'm going to say return false there okay so i have our first two methods done um, we'll catch you for the actual solving part in the next video